So there were a couple of other things I added. We added this tanning rack. And you can put animal pelts here. I've got a palmar pelt, which is kind of a cat pelt. Like a lion pelt. Got a bunch of wolf pelts. And then uh, the way you use the tanning rack is you use the skinning knife. So you have to wield the skinning knife to do that. And then you strike at the tanning rack. And now you can make cut leather or parchment paper. Uh, which I'm not, I'm not gonna do at the moment, but anyways. So there's that. Then the other thing was I added a spinning wheel. And then the wool barrel, you have to put wool in here. Add wool to create yarn. So I'm not exactly sure where I would get wool for the spinning wheel. But then when you get your yarn, then you add it to the loom. So we got five things of yarn here and then we can kind of lower the icon down here oh that is the wrong tool uh actually i think what we do here i think if i just use the e key Yeah, I just have to press the E key. So basically, when you bring your yarn to the loom, this is where you can make folded cloth. has run out of yarn add more yarn to continue so now we have our folded cloth right here and then the folded cloth can be brought over to our workbench where we can make uh, furniture with it which I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. So yeah, here we can add boards, ingots, and cloth to uh, create furniture. So we'll go ahead and add our folded cloth. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So I'm still not exactly sure what a tool I need to use to uh, to create. You do not have enough materials to create anything. So I can't use my scissors or my sewing kit. Okay. So yeah, I don't know 
what tool I need to use the workbench. But then, of course, the forge. The tool that you need to use for this is the blacksmith hammer, which for some reason I don't have. Oh, there it is. The blacksmith hammer. So we have to actually wield this for the forge. Now I can create some quicksilver, some ebony ingot, and some silver ingot. What I'm going to do is do a save. So we have ebony, four ebony ore, three gold nugget, eight iron ore, nine iron ore. For a quicksilver ore and a silver nugget. And so presently it looks like we can create only stuff with the ebony ore, the quicksilver ore, and the silver nugget. Let's create a quicksilver ingot. Let's create a ebony ingot. And we'll create two silver ingots. Alright. Let's go ahead and drop those ingots into the anvil. Silver ingots. Ebony ingots. And quicksilver ingots. Actually, we've got another uh, silver nugget that we can drop into the forge here. I didn't see that before. So the silver nugget. I think that's all of it. Okay. So let me try this again. Okay. So now that we've got a quicksilver ingot, two ebony ingots, and three silver ingots, let me do a save here. Let me just see what we might be able to make. So with the anvil, we have to use this blacksmith hammer again. Oh, we can create ebony boots, ebony gauntlets, or ebony helmet. An ebony bow, an ebony short sword, or an ebony dagger. So with two ebony ingots, we could create any one of these. Let me see what the ebony gauntlets look like. So I can't create anything with the quicksilver or silver ingots yet. Ebony gauntlets, heavy armor. You need to be expert level in heavy armor to equip this item. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and reload then. So, an interesting number of items. We can even create an ebony bow. But we'll 
cancel out of that for now. And we'll go ahead and store the blacksmith hammer in the anvil. Okay. So again, I'm still not exactly sure how to make this workbench. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just figured it out inadvertently. So I accidentally took the boards away from the workbench. I got ten boards. Alright, so if you click on the workbench specifically with the icon, that's where you add or remove items. But then you have to move the icon over each of the tools on the workbench. So we have the cali we have the carpenter's tool. Oh, okay, the carpenter's tool. Another carpenter tool, another carpenter tool. And another carpenter tool. Aha, here's how we make the furniture. We can make a chair, an armchair, a bookcase, a bird table, a trunk bench, a chest deed, more items, a rounded chest deed, a chair deed. Oh, wait a minute. So these basically make... These basically build make the deeds to build the stuff. Let's see, more items. We can make a small table, a square chest, a broom or staff or shaft. Okay. So yeah, basically you move the icon if you want to add or remove items. Move the icon over the workbench where it says workbench. You can hit the E key to remove items. Or you can select the R key. Select the R key to open up the menu to add or remove items. But then if you want to make stuff, just move the icon over your mallet, your chisel things here, whatever the carpenter's tool is, that's what you want to select by using the E key. And then it'll give you this list of stuff that you can make. You know what, let's make a rustic chest. Okay, so the rustic chest deed added. Let's make... Gosh, there's not much else we can make, is there? Alright, so now we have... The rustic chest deed. So we'll have to hotkey that. So now we have the deed hotkeyed. So now we can go into back into my house. And let's put the chest right here. This might work. Wow. A rustic chest. So now I can start storing my stuff. Nice. All right. Well, first things first. Uh, let's see. Let's store all of the jewelry because I want to eventually... I need to eventually learn to enchant... Enchant my items. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Leather strips. We'll put those in there. My scissors and sewing kit we'll put in there. My tinkers, tools, the tongs, the calipers we'll put in there. My skinning knife. Let me see if some of these arrows. So I can't use those arrows, I can't use those arrows, I can't use those, and I can't use those, and I can't use even those yet. I can only use my steel, or I can use any of these other enchanted arrows. So all these other arrows we'll go ahead and put in here. You know, I could go buy some more boards to build like a refrigerator or a place to store food and whatnot. So there's a chest. My rustic chest. Boy, I need to build a bed in here and some lanterns. But the interesting thing, what's great about all of these various items, the spinning wheel, the loom, And these other items, the tanning rack, this workbench, the forge and anvil. Basically now I get to, in a very reasonable and quite effective manner, I can create armors and weapons and furniture just like Skyrim. Which is... Uh, really quite cool which and therefore what that means is all of the various items that you loot around your adventuring you find stuff like cloth or boards or folded cloth or leather strips or ingots you now have or like uh, you know these uh, these things of yarn we now have the tools to actually use those items because before you would just collect stuff like that or even like a wolf pelt and really about the only thing you could do with stuff like that if you wanted to collect it was go sell it for coins otherwise you usually just left it alone but now you can actually utilize those resources into something valuable I still haven't figured out yet how to utilize the wine barrel to make grapes. Wine barrel is empty, add more grapes. Well, I've got four grapes in the wine barrel. I guess I gotta get more grapes. Anyways, rather interesting stuff, okay. So with all that in mind, let me go ahead and um, let's see, I still need to reassign number seven. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our travel back to Sundercliff.
What happened to my burgundy colors for the loading screen game? That's kind of odd. Alright, let's put some poison on. Oh, wait, it's already poisoned. drain on these guys. Alright. that uh Severing, tunic, bow, ooh, some more ore. This stuff is becoming valuable now. All of these ores that people are carrying. I mean, it's really becoming worthwhile collecting this other stuff. Alright, 